closing in tonight, Carol Simpson. Good evening. Once again tonight, the latest news on the hostage crisis is coming from smoke signals in Tehran. According to a Tehran newspaper, Iran and the United States could begin indirect talks within the next few days, possibly through Pakistan. But a later report from Iran, quote sources, is saying no talks will be held. United Press International quotes an unidentified Muslim clergyman as saying that the kidnappers of Joseph Sicipio have called off their threat to kill him because of stepped-up diplomacy in the region. As David Ensor reports, the Bush administration is finding it difficult to make any sense out of the conflicting rumors. U.S. officials express growing frustration that they're hearing about possible hostage negotiations only through the Iranian media. They say there has been no official diplomatic message from Iran all this week. State Department spokeswoman Margaret Tutwiler says the U.S. is ready to talk directly and on any issue. The United States government is prepared to engage in a dialogue with authorized representatives of the government of Iran to discuss the issues that divide us. As for suggestions in Iranian newspapers that Pakistan's foreign minister Yakub Khan might be used as an intermediary, U.S. officials insist that's the first they've heard of it. But Khan was in Washington last week and is scheduled to visit Tehran next week. U.S. officials still hope Iran's new president, Hashemi Rafsanjani, needs the opening to the West that freeing the hostages would give him. I think a number of uh, reasons are pushing Iran towards a greater uh, uh, pragmatism. Uh, first of all are the economic factors. Uh, Iran's economy is in shambles and Iran desperately needs uh, to focus on its economic buildup. Iran and the United States may both have reason to improve their relationship now, but the radical Shiites who hold the hostages will not go along easily. Officials here say Hezbollah was sending that clear message yesterday with the suicide bombing of Israeli soldiers in Lebanon. David Ensor, ABC News, the State Department. In southern Lebanon today, two UN peacekeeping soldiers were slightly injured when they were attacked by militiamen allied with Israel. The UN soldiers were trying to stop the militiamen from rounding up 